guys, I'm taking over Jen's channel today for a sister takeover. Today we are going to make my famous, not so famous yet, oatmeal cookies. They are great for everyone. Grandmas, soccer moms, even rock and rollers, and even your pets could enjoy it too. So, let's get into it. First off, you need two cups of all-purpose flour. One cup. Two cups. Now we need one teaspoon of taking... <laughs> one teaspoon of baking powder. Now, one teaspoon of baking soda. One half teaspoon of salt. Now we're going to do one teaspoon of cinnamon. Mm, if you get a little more in there, that's fine. Now we are going to mix this up. And we're just going to put it to the side and get our larger mixing bowl and work on the next part. I use oil, but it actually calls for shortening. But if you don't have shortening, I would personally use oil anyways because I think it makes it not dry and I think you get more cookies out of it. So a half a cup of oil or a half a cup of shortening. The recipe originally called for shortening, but I always like to use vegetable oil. If you don't have shortening, here are your alternatives. You could do vegetable oil, shortening, coconut oil, olive oil, or canola oil. So you have options. Okay, now we're going to do half a cup of butter, softened, not melted though. Or a, a stick of butter is a half a cup. Now you're going to do one, one half cups of brown sugar packed. One cup, a half. Okay, now we're going to use two eggs. Okay, now this recipe calls for molasses, but if you don't have molasses, you can use pancake syrup, you can use sorghum, you can use honey, you can use a KO corn syrup or light corn syrup, or if you have molasses, go for it. But usually I use just normal corn syrup, light corn syrup, but today I think we're going to go with molasses. Okay, we're going to do one tablespoon of molasses, but you can use the other stuff if you don't have it, okay? Okay, well you can add so much to this recipe. It is literally use what you got cookies. You can add raisins, dried blueberries, 
chocolate chips, peanut butter chips, peanut butter, walnuts, almonds, and pecans. You can add anything. You can make it your oatmeal cookie. So use your favorite ingredients. Comment down below what you added, what you didn't add. Next, we're going to do one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we're gonna add it two cups of oats. And if you didn't have a big thing of oats, open the instant oatmeal. That could work. Now you mix it all together. Now you're going to take your smaller bowl, what we did earlier, and mix it in with the bigger bowl. Make sure to preheat your oven to 350 and then go ahead and set your pans out and put parchment paper and spray them with a little oil, okay? Okay, now we're gonna mix this together. Okay, you gotta work it good because you gotta get the flour mixed all together because it's gonna take a few minutes, but just keep stirring, just keep stirring. And you'll get there, okay? Okay, now after you mixed it all up, you're going to take a small ice cream scooper or you can get a spoon. And you can make them as big as you want, as small as you want. I usually do like half an ice cream scoop. Then you'll get like more cookies, whatever size you want, really. Because it looks like you're putting a little bit. But they will grow in the oven. Typically this recipe will make around 30 cookies, so if you have a lot of kids, this is a good recipe and easy to do. Let's add more to that one. Okay, now this is just the first batch. As you see, we have plenty of batter left, so we're gonna keep making batches, but we're gonna put this one in the oven right now. Um, okay, so you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, whatever you like, but they will grow, just so you know. Um, okay, so we're gonna do seven to 10 minutes into the oven, but sometimes they get done a little quicker, so just keep an eye. Um, oven, 350 degrees. Okay, after you let them cool and let them harden up a little bit, it's time to taste them. Mmm. <laughs> Pretty good.
You could even have a whole glass of milk if you want. Alright, well that's it for the sister takeover. Let me know if you are going to try these. What would you add? What would you not add? Would you like these? Let us know in the comments. Thank y'all. Bye! <laughs>